طرف Excuse me, I'm expecting this coming to meet everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Excellences, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to hear two songs of Rabindranath Tagore by Mr. Vishwarup Saniyal and two of his students.
Good evening, Minister Ahmad Singh, Government of India, His Excellency, Indian Ambassador to Russia, Ambassador of Bangladesh to Russia, Foreign Secretary, Secretary to the President of India, distinguished gathering here. I am indeed happy to have this opportunity to, to pay rural tribute to our national poet who has the distinction and perhaps the unique distinction of being the composer of national song for two nations, India and Bangladesh. 154 years ago on this day, Tagore was born in a fabulously rich and cultural family of Bengal. His family tradition was internationalist in the sense his grandfather, Prince Dwarkan of Tagore, who was a harbinger of industrial revolution in that part of the world. 
His father was a religious reformer, and people respectfully described him as a great sage, Maharshi, Maharshi Devanandana. A truly talented family, Devanandana. He excelled all the ta talents of other family members. Being the first Nobel laureate of Asia in literature and being the roving ambassador of India in those days, he traveled almost half of the world and conveyed the message of love, harmony, peaceful coexistence, liberation of human soul. He expired in 1941, and before that in 1930, he visited this country, and his experiences he described in series of letters which were published as letters from Russia. He was simply struck down by the educational reforms in Russia in the post-revolution. And his book were translated several times in Russian language, Gitanjali, which offering of songs which won the Nobel Prize in both Imperial Russia and Revolutionary Russia. Of course, he visited Russia in 1930 in the post-revolution and described a simply miracle has been done in education in Russia. This is not the occasion to speak on Tagore because everybody knows his human contribution to civilization of India and his message of internationalism. Way far back, he visited Argentina and was in close contact through Victoria Ocampo, the leading intellectuals of Latin America, and one of his marvelous book of poems he dedicated to Victoria Ocampo whom she described as Bijaya. He was truly a great believer in human liberty and was paid in the growth of intolerance, fascism. And it is said before going to the operation table in 1941, the year when he expired. In the morning he was very restless because he read in some newspaper that there is an advancement of the Nazi forces in Russia. And finally he was assured by his secretary who was also a great internationalist. that no, the news is not confirmed. Russia is advancing now. And he had a sigh of relief. I am deeply indebted to you who has organized this beautiful function to pay tributes to our national icon, Rabindranath Tagore and I join you 
in pain, my respectful homage to Rabindranath. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for giving me this opportunity. And I must congratulate to young sister, a singer, who have truly represented the entire philosophy of Rabindranath in two songs which they selected. I simply admire them. Thank you. Thank you. 